The great Buddha of infinite light symbolizes the paradox that is Japan. The Japanese are deeply steeped in ancient traditions and beliefs, but at the same time, the country has taken its lead among modern nations. The ancient ways are still mirrored in the numerous Shinto and Buddhist temples. Worshippers leave their shoes on the steps of the temples as a mark of respect when they enter the sacred shrines. The gods are honored with all of the splendor at man's command. Everywhere the eye is dazzled by examples of Japanese art and architecture. A marvel of highway construction. This road covers the last four miles of the route from Nikko to Lake Chuzenji, a sightseer's paradise, with its breathtaking panorama and Kegon Falls. Towering over all is Mount Fuji, symbol to the Western world of all that is Japanese. Festivals play an important role in Japanese cultural life and are a source of fascination for the Westerner. This is a Buddhist ritual to initiate boys and young men into the priesthood. The carefully prescribed rites have been preserved through the centuries and they have lost none of the feudal trappings that date from medieval times. These youngsters face years of intensive study before they may hope to become priests. Once the emperor ruled the country from his palace, an absolute monarch has befitted the son of heaven. Today, the diet or parliament makes the laws. Japan now boasts the largest city in the world, Tokyo, the capital, with over 8 million inhabitants, a population greater than New York City. Riding the crest of a post-war prosperity boom, the people seem to have left their traditional serenity behind. Public transportation couldn't hope to keep up with the population explosion. Twice a day, her subways are jammed to the limit. It's every man for himself with strong-armed guards to speed them on their way. Tokyo is the hub of all the hubbub that is modern Japan. But tradition-bound customs crop up. The ceremonial attached to the exchange of business cards is a fascinating sight. Everybody exchanges them as some sort of status symbol. And the more you bow, the more you indicate respect the more respect, the more you bow, etc., etc. Most of Tokyo's buildings are wood, and fire is a constant concern. Fire towers are manned the clock around, and any suspicious wisp of smoke brings immediate action. The Japanese child finds himself pampered in his formative years. Playgrounds abound for the small fry. This one is right in the heart of the city, on the roof of the Mitsukoshi department store. While Junior plays in Mama's shops, Papa-san has a chance to get a few yen down on the daily double. The spectators take a chance on everything but catching a cold, thus the gauze masks. The horses don't have the bloodlines of Western thoroughbreds. They are mainly descended from the tough Mongolian pony. Family ties are closely knit in Japan, and family outings to the numerous parks are a favorite form of amusement, especially on the days of national celebration, such as the emperor's birthday. Riders costumed in the period of the Meiji Reformation thrill youngster and adult alike with a contest that is reminiscent of the nightly jousting of Western nations. With bow and arrow, they attempt to shoot down the swinging targets.
Baseball is far and away the most popular sport in Japan. It was first introduced in 1873 and soon mushroomed as a spectator attraction. They miss half the fun, however. They never yell insults at the umpire. Perhaps the oddest sport in the world is sumo wrestling. Older in origin than judo or jujitsu, it was already an established sport centuries ago. Sessions last from morning through late afternoon, and fans lunch right on the spot. The wrestlers are trained from boyhood, and part of that training is to fatten them up, for a sumo wrestler must weigh at least 250 pounds. Tokyo works hard by day and plays hard at night. The Japanese, who once gathered fireflies to illuminate their gardens, now bask in a neon glow as they go on the town. They haunt the pachinko parlors. It's a vertical version of our pinball machine. Day and night, the little balls tumble about. Among the nightclubs, there's something for everyone's taste. The Western influence is evident in the music, and in the lines of dancing girls. The Ginza is Tokyo's Times Square, or London's Piccadilly Circus. It never seems to sleep. stylized Japanese dancers of yesteryear. This is Japan Today, a marvel among modern nations.